Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel, Two Brothers Outdoors. Today we're going to be sawing up a large hemlock log that we suspect has the shakes. If it has the shakes, we will just use what we can out of it because I'm sawing it up into siding. Tim has another project going so he won't be filming. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to film and I'll narrate what I'm doing when I edit the video. It's a little warm in here, so let's open up the doors and get a breeze blowing. Hemlock log on the mill is 18 inches on the small end. We'd like to get 12 inch wide boards out of it, but it has a swoop in the log, so maybe we only get 10 inch. As you can see, I marked the center of the log, five inches up from the center and six inches up from the center. Well, I've already made two cuts and the camera wasn't on. In the middle of the third cut, we ran out of gas. We have the saw all gassed up and restarted and we're gonna finish this third cut right now. I started my first cut just under the bark. The next cut down is four quarter. And of course the third cut is four quarter also. We're looking to get siding and any piece of one by whatever we can get for purlings for the, for the roof will be great. So everything's gonna be cut in four quarter on this log. After you turn the log, you want to make sure that the open face is square with the log stops. Otherwise, you'll get a crooked cut.
due to the swoop in the log, we only ended up getting 10 inch wide boards, but that's okay. Everything seems to be coming out really nice right now. I'm predicting maybe 11, 12 boards out of this can. I can get 11 inches between the blade and where the cant would hit the belt and I'm getting kind of close. Maybe one more cut and then we'll have to take some boards off the cant. Okay, the can is down to three inches thick and I'm going to use it to pinch these flitches in between the cat and the dogs so that we can get straight cuts. And we're going to cut these flitches out to seven inches wide. I'll use those for purlings up on the roof. This log did an outstanding job of providing boards. We got 12 1x10s and we got four 1x7s for purlings. I am very, very happy the way this came out and it didn't have the shakes as bad as we thought. There was only one board that split. The rest of them were all fine. This is gonna go a long way in helping us get this building sided. You can always tell how accurate your mill is by how tight the boards fit together and how level they are when you nail them flush. All right, we're going to leave this one right here. Thanks for coming along with us. If you're not a subscribed to our channel, hit that subscription button. And until the next one, we will catch you later. And as Tim would say, bye-bye now.